Here are the six key takeaways from Sita Raman's speech. Number one, no change in tax labs. No changes were recorded in tax labs, direct and indirect taxes. 15% tax regime for new domestic manufacturing companies were not extended, which could impact Make in India. FY25 tax receipts were seen at Rs 26.02 lakh crore. The government will extend tax benefits for startups till March 31st, 2025 and will withdraw direct tax demands of up to Rs 25,000 till FY 2010. Number two, fiscal consolidation on track. The finance minister said that FY24 fiscal deficit is estimated at 5.8% of GDP, below the budged 5.9%. She pegged the FY25 target at 5.1% with an aim to reduce it to 4.5% by FY26. Number three, positive surprise on borrowings. FY25 gross market borrowings have been pegged at Rs 14.13 lakh crore, lower than a number of Rs 15 lakh crore that economists had expected. Net borrowings were seen at Rs 11.75 lakh crore. Number four, infra-focused continues. The outlay for infrastructure has been increased by 17% to Rs 11.11 lakh crore or 3.4% of GDP over the revised estimate of Rs 9.5 lakh crore in FY24. That's largely in line with expectations. Number five, new innovation fund. The government plans to set up a Rs 1 lakh crore corpus to back innovation. This includes 50-year interest-free loan, long-term financing or refinancing with long tenures with low or nil interest rates. The move is aimed at encouraging the private sector to scale up research and innovations significantly in sunrise domains. Ninmala Sitaraman said. Number six, housing stays in spotlight. The government plans to launch a scheme for deserving sections of the middle class living in rented houses or slums to build their own houses. Details are awaited. The government also aims to make two crore houses in the next five years under the PM Awas Yojana Grameen and is close to achieving the three crore target.